Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. And today I have an interesting video for you. I'm very happy to announce this light. This is the BSS version 4 light from WowTac. Now, WowTac is, is supported by Thrunite. I've reviewed all of the previous versions of this BSS light. Now, for those of you who might not know, BSS is a fellow YouTuber, Black Scout Survival. He collaborated with WowTac, and they came up with this creation. Now, again, I said it before that I've reviewed all the previous versions, and they are good lights. They're based on the A1, A1S series platform, so these are good lights. First thing that we see here is this little card. Please screw down the light head and tail cap tightly before use. The reason they do that is because they ship these lights in manual lockout mode so they won't come on during shipment. The next thing we see is the light itself. Now we'll put that aside. We'll get to that in a minute. Now look at that right there. This is very high quality packaging that you can see here from WowTac. The next thing that we see in here is the owner's manual which we will refer to here in a little bit. And we see a card here this card gives a lot of good information about WowTac, so feel free to pause if you want to read any of this information here. I'll try to hold it nice and still. And then on this side, there's contact information and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool that they include that. The next thing we see here is a lens. This is going to change the tint of the lens, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Here is the USB 2 to micro USB charging cable. In here we have a package, there's a lanyard, there's a switch cover, there's a couple of o-rings, and then I believe there's a charge port cover as well, that little black piece right there, that rubber. So in the event that your charge port rubber gets ripped off or, or lost or something like that, they have a replacement. Again, there's two o-rings and a switch cover and a nice lanyard in that package. So I think it's pretty cool that they include all those extras with this light. The last thing that we see here in the package with the exception of the pocket clip inside is this holster. Now this is a very very basic holster. Got a nice little D-ring, nylon holster, goes on your belt, velcro enclosure, nothing too fancy but very functional. Just the, the bare minimum of what you need in a holster to protect your light and that's what's included here. Now if you look here you can see there is the pocket clip that will go on the light and I'll install that here in just a minute. So let's take a look at the light itself and let's get that first look at this light. WowTac BSS version 4 very nice looking light. They've got the charge port on the back. I've never been a fan of this charge port. Apparently there's more people that like that than people like me that don't like that. And they keep putting this on all the lights that WowTac makes. But apparently it's working good. So more power to them. There is Black Scout Survival's YouTube logo. And again, it carries his name, and this is version 4 of it. Right off the bat, I can see that there's a power level indicator. That's cool. I can also see a very aggressive strike bezel here on this light. There's a good look at the LED. You can see a glass lens and a clear reflector and a very aggressive strike bezel. On the back here, you have an on-off button tail cap type switch. There's a couple options here where you could connect a lanyard right here or right here. Now let's go ahead and open this up from the bottom and let's take a look at the battery that's included with this light. So there's a quick look at the tail cap switch. Looks like a very high quality build. And looking inside the housing of the light you can see it's very 
thick material and a nice solid connection point down in the bottom of the of the battery tube looks like a very solid build here is a look at the battery that's included this is a 3100 milliamp hour 18650 rechargeable lithium ion battery operates at 3.6 volts or 11.16 watt hours this is a very nice battery and they didn't go cheap on it they didn't go to a 2600 or and they didn't go high end to a 3500 but they kind of met in the middle 3100 is a respectable amp hour rating on a battery there's the positive and of course there's a look at the negative now to insert the battery into the light we're going to put the positive down towards the head of the light just like this and then we'll screw on this tail cap switch so now we have the battery installed and everything is nice and tight at this point I'd like to talk about the pocket clip and let's go ahead and install that we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy on just like that so we would put that in our pocket and we would have a nice deep carry okay let's go ahead and take a look at the owner's manual and I'll go through the modes real quick starting with firefly mode this is 0.32 lumens and it'll last for 56 days that's impressive moving up to low we have 25 lumens 55 and a half hours so that's over two days then we can go to medium 286 lumens for four and a half hours of runtime and then high 1087 lumens for three minutes and then to prevent the light from overheating it will reduce the lumen level down to 535 for an additional 136 minutes so over two hours and then of course we have a turbo which is even brighter 1785 lumens for two minutes and then again to prevent overheating it'll drop down to 485 lumens for 134 minutes now when you're choosing between high and turbo and you want the 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 more amount of light after step down choose high because that's going to be uh what 40 lumens more you also have a strobe function of 935 lumens and that'll last 148 minutes so that's over two hours the weight of the light is 98 grams here are the dimensions 146 and a half millimeters by 28 millimeters by 25.4 millimeters at the body okay and the the surface finish is a black anodized aluminum finish aluminum alloy now this part right here I really like this is the working voltage of the light anywhere from 2.7 volts all the way up to 8.4 volts the reason I like that so much is because that tells me that I can use uh, I can use the 18650 batteries and I can also use dual CR 123s or dual rechargeable 123 so that's pretty cool the LED that they're using is an X HP 35 HI that's a Cree LED very nice LED and all of these specs as far as what these run times and things were tested with the battery that comes with the light at 3100 milliamp hour sometimes you'll see specs on a light that are much higher than what the battery included is so you'll there there it's, it's almost false advertising so we are getting what they're saying we're getting this throw of this light is 322 meters that's impressive 26,000 on the candela impact resistant down to one and a half meter and waterproof to an IPX8 standard down to two meters now that waterproof rating is when that charge port cover is in place and I don't like this because if that charge port cover is not in place and this thing falls out and gets in the water I think your IPX8 waterproofness goes away so let's go ahead and give this thing a shot let's turn it on so we're gonna push the button there you see that it came on to low now if I push and hold down medium high low medium high low if I turn the light off and turn it back on the memory will come on so let's go to high for example turn it off turn it on it goes right back to high double press for turbo there's turbo and triple press for strobe so strobe warning everybody there we go 
single press turns the light off and a long press watch this we're going to see firefly mode 0.32 lumens for 56 days that's pretty crazy so that's cool now the only thing that I can see that the tail cap switch does is two things it does a momentary on and off of turbo so you kind of half press without clicking it you get that turbo and then if you want to lock the turbo in you just click that bad boy that's all the tail cap switch does on this light it doesn't do any strobing or anything like that you can't do any one two three four and hold it's just momentary on and off and constant on and off and it's all turbo that's all the tail cap does once the, the light is on, can you change modes with the mode switch? No, you cannot. You're on turbo. You're going to be locked on turbo. You're going to be on the brightest setting, and this side switch is not going to do anything. You're going to have to turn the light off from the tail cap if you turn it on from the tail cap switch. Now, when you turn the light on and you're on any mode other than Firefly, you're going to see that blue power level indicator. Okay, That tells you that your battery is good. When that battery starts to get down it'll turn red and then flash red so keep an eye on that you can unscrew the strike bezel of the light which is very nice and also you can install this lens and this lens will let you produce a different color of light so it installs very very easy just screw that bad boy on and then that's what the light looks like that's gonna give us a red light and that's turbo that's what you're gonna get there okay so you can go to firefly mode and get a very light red that's what firefly is gonna look like and then you cycle there's low there's medium and there's high it's pretty impressive double press for turbo and again strobe warning triple press very nice one press turns the light off looking at the wall here let's take a look at the light I'm on firefly mode you can't see nothing you have to get right up on it look at the pattern of that beam that's nice low medium high low medium high double press for turbo triple press again for strobe I like that strobe very disorienting and then again the tail cap switch goes straight to turbo and the side switch doesn't work when you're in turbo kinda cool that's that tactical operation now let's take a look at the light with white so let's take off the red lens let's put the regular um, strike bezel back on let's take a look at firefly mode against the wall there there's firefly so with the white you can see a little bit better turn it off turn it on look at that pattern it's pretty cool looks like a flower almost there's low medium there's high and then of course let's double press for turbo and triple press for strobe very nice now the tail cap switch straight to turbo that's what you got full brightness one operation full brightness I think that's pretty cool I think they've done a good job with this light I like it so far let's talk about the lockout mode in this light okay so right now you can see the light is off if I long press until I see firefly mode okay you can see it barely on right there on my finger and I let off the button and then if I press it again until Firefly goes off this will enter lockout mode so when I push the button you'll see very quickly a red indicator it it doesn't stay on for long the red indicator is telling me that the light is in lockout mode to get back to normal operation I'm gonna push and hold from lockout mode until I see Firefly then I'll let off and now the light can be used as normal so it's very cool that it has a lockout mode in the UI. What does the light look like in this holster? So yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty good little holster. Very nice. It'll protect that light very well. 
Nice little D-ring. Good, it's perfect. It's everything you need to protect your light. Now that we have water, let's make sure that this is closed, that this port is in place. Let's just turn the light on, and that's a good setting. Let's dunk it in the water. Let that bad boy sit. Okay, no problems. Cycle through the modes here. High, low, medium, high. Let's put it in the water again. We're on high. All right, let's double press for turbo. Looks like we got it. Triple press for strobe. One, two, three. Good. Single press turns it off. Long press for Firefly. Looks like that's working. And I push the switch so the light's off. Now the tail cap switch goes straight to turbo. And let's throw that bad boy underwater. So as you can see, this light clearly passes the IPX8 waterproof testing with flying colors. No problems there at all. Okay, right now we're looking at Firefly mode. Again, this is 0 0.32 lumens for 56 days. So that's a pretty good setting. But if you look off in the distance, you can't really see anything. I mean, I can see down by my feet and stuff like that, but it's not real noticeable. The camera doesn't really justify much. Here we are on low, 25 lumens for 55 and a half hours. So that's pretty good. Now we're on medium. This is 286 lumens for four and a half hours. Then we bump it up to high. There's low, medium, there's high. This is 1,087 lumens for three minutes. And then it'll drop down to 535 lumens for an additional 136 minutes. So over two hours. That's a good setting. Now if I double press, we'll take a look at turbo. 1,785 lumens for two minutes, then it'll drop to 485 lumens for 134 minutes. That's a pretty good amount of light. I like the pattern of this light. Now let's uh, take a look and, and give you guys a strobe warning, so watch out. Very disorienting. 935 lumens for 148 minutes. Single press turns the light off. And then if I push the tail cap switch, straight to turbo you can see the blue battery level indicator glowing right there so our battery is good but I like this light it does get a little bit warm to the touch but it's a powerful light it's cranking out some pretty good lumens here on turbo now my final thoughts on this light I really like it I think they've done a good thing with this one personally I wish they would have never done this I think, in my, my personal opinion, that is a step going backwards. If they're going to put a recharging port on a light like that, make it USB-C, not micro USB. If it's going to be billed as a tactical light, and you're going to be getting in a scuffle or a fight, you don't need that port right there getting in your way and messing up your IPX8 waterproofness. Maybe you're fighting in the rain or something or in water and that thing gets ripped off. Look at how easy this comes off. Look at that. Really simple. Now you're in a rainstorm, no protection. It's just stupid to me. It does not make sense. But the light itself is high quality. I like the, the settings and stuff that they made on the light. I think it's going to do fabulous things. I just don't think this little piece right here is enough to give it an IPX8 waterproof rating. Get rid of this, WowTac. Nothing against Black Scout Survival. I love that guy. I love his channel. I love what he's doing. And I love his innovation and his ideas with this light. But this is a mistake, in my opinion. But with all that being said, folks, I want to say thank you for watching this video today. I hope you got some good, useful information out of it. Please feel free to comment down below. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on this light based on what I've showed you in this video. I will put links to this light in the description box where you can find it. And as always, have a beautiful day. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Let's get this port cover put back on. It's pretty easy to put back on. There we go. I'm getting close. I just don't like dealing with that stuff. There. Good as new. Bye for now.